What's going on, film heads? I'm the Modern Film Critic, and we are reviewing another TV series that came out. Was it last week? No, just a few days ago, actually. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. S -H -I -E -L -D. And I was relatively excited for it, coming off of the Avengers. I was excited to see how they tie it in together. I was hoping that I would, you know, follow through. Uh, I, I, was, I was hoping for great performances. You know, things like that. Things that usually comes out of Joss Whedon. Usually, he's not, he's not always perfect. I don't like everything he does. But a lot of his stuff is really good, and I was hoping this would be one of those great Joss Whedon TV series. Is it great? Not really. It's it's really it's good, but it's not. It's not, I wasn't blown away by it. I watched it. I was like, okay, that was that was fine. But um, I wanted a little bit more. Now to get a little bit more into, into depth with it, I'm not going to give away too much about the story because it is a pilot. I don't want to give away any spoilers. This is a spoiler-free review, so I'm going to be a little vague. I'm not going to give away a lot of stuff. That being said, Joss Whedon is not very known for having good pilots. So that's one thing where I was like, okay, maybe it's just a rocky start. We'll get better and better and better. But some of the performances in this uh, TV episode wasn't as good as it could have been. It's good, especially uh, the main girl that we follow. Um, I apologize. I can't give her. I, I can't remember her name. Yeah, that, that's another problem. Like leaving the leave, leaving the episode, I was like, I don't remember anyone's name. At all, it was it was very the performances were very dry and very watered down, and it was it, it it was just fine. So like specifically, the girl who wasn't that great. The story though, I, I had a fun, I had a, I had pretty fun with the story. You know, you got the you got the guy who is a superhero. He's the African American guy's got a he's a superhero. He's got a son, and Shield is obviously trying to you know like. Uh, I don't know if necessarily stop him, but, you know, get rid of his powers because he's dangerous. And uh, there's things happen that t towards the end where there's more reason to get rid of his powers because he's getting even more and more dangerous for the certain reason. I won't tell you why because I'm not going to go into it a lot with story, but it was very, it was very just mediocre. That's a good word for it. It was a mediocre pilot, uh, but I hope it gets better. I could see how this could get better if we, you know, we gotta get the actors going a little bit better. You gotta get inter interest me more, you know, get me invested into the story a little bit more, and you know, I'll be down for it. They tie it into the Avengers, but very, very lightly. The first shot of the whole series and the episode is action figures of Thor, Iron Man, Hulk, and who am I forgetting? Captain America. Uh, there, it's, it's like, it's cool, it's a little boy looking at them, because this is after the, the New York destruction stuff. They hint to it a little bit, but they don't over, they don't beat you over the head with Avengers, Avengers, Avengers. It's just light, and I like the way they tied it in. I didn't love it. It was, it was, it was just right. It wasn't perfect, it wasn't water down, it was just right. They tied it in pretty well, and, uh, I liked that aspect of it. And it was very interesting. Like I said, I like the African-American guy, and I can't remember his name, I apologize. I hope he comes back, but I don't think he is. I think this is the only time he's gonna be in the whole series. Uh, I'm not sure the direction they're gonna go. I don't know if they're gonna have, like, one hero per episode, or if they're just... I'm not really sure what direction they're going with the series. I just hope it's nowhere but up. Because the pilot, it was a little disappointing. The acting, like I said, wasn't great. The story was okay, but I wasn't completely invested in it. After watching it, I was like, I don't remember any of these characters. It just didn't do a really good job at investing me, like I said. I wasn't, like, totally in towards the, uh, towards the middle and the end. It, it started off good, but it kept going down, down, down towards the end. And, uh, you know, I've got to keep this in mind. This is a TV series. Not a movie. It's not going to have the best effects. The effects are okay, but they're not great. It's a TV series. You know, I can't get on that too much. And I think where people are not liking this is their expectations are too high. It's, they're coming off of the Avengers. People are wanting to see Iron Man. No, he's not going to be in it. He may make a cameo, but he's, he's more than likely not going to be in it too much. But uh, I think people's expectations are too high. You know, Joss Whedon's making it. It's coming off of the Avengers. I think we just need to calm down and, you know, watch it for what it is. It's decent, but... It didn't blow me away. I can push and get the first pilot to a uh, three out of five. Uh, that's pushing. Uh, it was decent. It was entertaining. Will I watch the next one? Yeah, probably. But here's a little note. If it keeps getting bad, I'm done with it. If you notice that I don't review anymore, that's because I don't like it anymore. And I don't think it's worth reviewing. You know, I do have standards. If it's not worth reviewing, I'm not going to do it. Uh, you may not like that. You may. I don't know. Whatever. Let me know what you guys thought about it. I'm going to review the next episode. I'm going to keep going with it. And if it starts to suck, like I said... I'll stop. So what are your thoughts on Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Were you disappointed like why I, like I was, or are you one of the people who actually really, really loved it and is looking forward to the next one? I'm looking forward to the next one, and I'm looking forward to what you guys think about this TV series. And as always, guys, I'm the Modern Film Critic, signing off.